workplace readiness with Tsekho Fatsong Special School and Sun Time Square. Let's hear it from the learners of Tsekhofatong Special School. My name is Huntisi Firi. I'm school learning at Tsekhofatong Special School. I'm doing grade five. When I grow up, I want to, I want to, I want to be a doctor. Good morning, learners and teachers. Oh, my name is Simbun uh, When I grow up, I want to be a pilot. Good morning, learners. My name is Mangel Msibi. I'm in grade five. When I, when I grow up, I want to be an actor. Yeah. Introducing the principal, Milton Ngobeni. As a school, we pride ourselves in trying to get employment for our learners, specifically those who are exiting the school at the age of 18. So we're hoping this uh, initiative will be able to assist them in order for them to get employment out there. And then also with the sponsors that you came with, uh, like Sun International, I know they've got programs in their company where such learners will be able to be placed for, for job opportunities out there because people living with disabilities, normally they are being managed, marginalized and and we're hoping from this initiative they will be able to get employment so they can also benefit and be part of the economy of the country. And from Sun Times Square, Madichaba Sikhota. For us it's very important to actually be able to give back to the communities in which we operate in within. Um, it's important for companies to actually give back to the community because we operate within those communities. What better way to give back than to those kids and to those communities that are, we are operating against. Okay, firstly we give bursaries because we understand that not all kids will have the financial means to go to further their studies. And then we give what we call a leadership for those kids that are not able to go to varsities. They can come in and actually we teach them how to work. That's what we call a leadership. We run leaderships, we teach them and then we, we actually employ or we absorb them into organization afterwards. Lastly, we'll have what we call an internship. This is some people that already went to varsity, but then for you to get your qualification, you need some form of experience. We give them that experience so that they can get that qualification. Within hospitality, we'll do your back office, with your crookery. So we'll have people that do the chefs, we'll do um, supervisors in the F&B space, which is food, food and beverage. We'll have your floor managers, we'll have your waitrons, your bartenders, and at the same time, we'll have people that would work into our hotels, from the front end to the back end. The CEO of Sun International actually instilled this upon us. Even in our most of our inclusive report, we actually make sure that all the properties, properties I mean your Sun Times Square, your Sun City, your Carnival City, all of them actually, they put it at their foremost as a strategic objective. So from the CEO, from all the workers in the back of house, back of house I mean like your IT, your HR, your finance, and obviously your F&B, your casino employees and your hotel, they understand what is it like to actually work with someone with a disability and how to make sure that they feel included and feel part of the team. 